terrorists attack the heart of America with catastrophic loss of life. Hijacked planes smash into and destroy New York's tallest buildings. Both towers of the World Trade Center collapse with thousands trapped. Another plane explodes on the Pentagon, mocking America's defensive might. In the streets, panic and the certainty that casualties are horrendous. Tonight, Britain imposes drastic security measures as Blair condemns the terrorist barbarism. Good evening. America came under attack today from international terrorists on a scale that made it more an act of war. The center of New York is still smoldering with America's two tallest buildings in ruins. Terrorists also struck with remarkable ease at the heart of America's defense, the Pentagon. Also in Washington, other government buildings, symbols of American power, were emptied as the terror spread. Air traffic is paralyzed, coast to coast, all key installations are on high alert. And amid the nightmare, the only estimate of fatalities is that they could run into many thousands. Out of the blue, at a quarter to nine this morning, New York time, a hijacked airliner carrying dozens of passengers flew straight into the World Trade Center's North Tower with devastating effect. 18 minutes later, a second attack, another hijacked jet, struck the Trade Center's twin South Tower, exploding in a huge fireball. Next, it was the turn of Washington and the Pentagon, the nerve center of America's military. A third hijacked American airliner, again with dozens of passengers on board, deliberately flown into the side of the building. As panic spread on the streets, all civilian flights were grounded, New York Stock Exchange was suspended, and the White House was evacuated, along with thousands of personnel in other government buildings. Then, the unthinkable. The South Tower of the World Trade Center, the world's fourth tallest building, collapsed, followed minutes later by the center's second tower. The building, symbol of global trade and workplace for 50,000 people, reduced to rubble. No one knows how many have died. A fourth hijacked plane crashed later in Pennsylvania. 45 people were on board. There were no survivors.